What's up, peeps? It's Josh again. It's good to know people, but it's good to know people online as well. Even though I don't really know any of you, I feel like I know a lot of you. The people who comment on my videos, are, I, I, I have a visual interpretation of who you are, and it's pretty cool because I know it's completely different from the reality. Of, the, of who you are and that's one of those things that I think really reflects a lot of things in life like we see each other in a certain light you know and, and, and it seems like we know each other but in reality we don't even know anything about each other you guys all know a lot about me people who watch my videos I try to watch a lot of your videos and if any of you who have videos and uh, it's just cool to see so many different lives and so many different ideas and I try to, like, remember that each person has, like, in their own little zone, you know, doing their own thing. I just got, like, I just hit, like, 900 subscribers or something, and I was like, wow, that's a lot of people, you know? I know that not very many of those people actually watch my videos. Just probably a few, a fraction of that, but it's just like, whoa, that's, you know, I never expected that when I started making videos, you know? I didn't think anybody would care. But it's really opened me up to say, hey, what are people like, you know? What do people expect out of life? And, 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 and I feel like I've learned so much more from you people that I've talked to back and forth. Like, uh, I've learned so much more about people that way than I ever could by reading or learning or trying to study about the subject of people and personalities and psychology. It's like people go to school to be, you know, to learn how people operate by learning psychology, psychiatry, whatever. And it, to a degree, they're all they're doing is just book learning and real life experience is how you really get to understand how people operate and what makes people tick. I don't know what makes me tick. I, I, <laughs> You know, there's like so many things. I love family, I love friends, I love... I just love existence, but what, are, what has it always been in the past? You know, different things. And I have these little things to look forward to, but I'm still just, a, you know, just a human. And I don't really get to experience hanging out with people like I used to. I don't really get to go out with my friends because I have a lot going on in my life and they have a lot going on in their life and the times when we both have off are usually uh, overlap uh, or very rarely overlap you know I might have a day off and then my friends at the beach or <laughs> my friend wants to come up I'm at work and we try to hang out but I feel like I don't get the chance and and when I see a friend like my buddy that came over the other night and we ate fungus together and had a I feel like I just bonded with him to the point where I'll never be the same. Our relationship will never be the same. This, but in an in a good way, of course. This friend of mine had uh, wronged me in the past a long time ago, and um, I was very angry with him when I was about 16, 17, 18, 19, whatever, somewhere around there. I, and and I was I was about 19 I guess 19 or 20 actually, and and, and I, I was looking for him I was so mad and, and and I didn't see him for years you know he did some harsh shit and I, it wasn't that bad but he was in a bad way and had a bad situation going on and he sent me a, a message on Facebook one time when I had Facebook years ago a few years back and apologized and sent me this big long thing and I sent him a rant back saying this is how I feel about the situation and I appreciate your apology and I accept your apology in fact that moment was really a defining moment in how I learned to accept apologies and move on and, and it, I was in a period of my life where I was making amends with people who I was angry with there were only a couple and uh, I've had like two people that, that had wronged me that I had to get past that and I did finally and uh, by forgiving them completely and now we hang out and he turned out to be like one of my best friends that I could I mean he, he's so cool to hang out with he's so fun he's so much like me or I'm so much like him we're alike you know not like each other just we're into the same things he said you know what he said he likes hanging out with me because I, I understand music and I was like god that's awesome not the only reason obviously but it was when we were tripping and I was like because we were just listening to this album of just sounds and interesting nuances and, and, and 
the music was phenomenal and we both understood it a lot better than we could have um, if we didn't know music. Uh, some people aren't into music, and anyway, that's a different topic. But um, having people in your life that you understand and that understand you is important. And I only have about three or four friends that really get me. Um, and I feel, you know, it's it's so much more of a vast sea of people online that you can meet. And um, I was very opposed to it. I never went to any, I've never been to a forum. I went to this one, it's the, the Kratom Forum, you know, because I was learning about stuff. But I'd never gone to one. I'd never been to a chat room still, except for, um, you know, where? No, I don't think I've ever been to a chat room. I'm not really, you know, I, I've been to some, like, videos where people are chatting. I'm just not into, like, that whole thing. But this this idea of meeting people face-to-face -face through videos is totally different for me, YouTube. And uh, it's, it's much better. I feel like I, you know, I get to know people better. Uh, a lot of people are a mystery to me. You know, a lot of my commenters and stuff, I, and that's cool. I don't, you know, people reveal as much about themselves as they want to. Not everybody is in the same uh, frame, and I love that, you know. It's it's like looking at all the twinkling stars, you know. Some are brighter than others. And that doesn't make them better or worse. It just makes them brighter. And some are dimmer. Maybe that's a good thing. And there's different... Uh... <laughs> that sounds like a bad example, actually, offhand, when I think about it, because it's saying bright, you know. No, that's not the intent. The intent is just to say everything's different from one another, and people are different. And people try so hard to conform one another. It's just getting so old. It's something I face all the time. I see it. It's like, you know, I've had people, friends of mine, you know, like tell me things like, you just got to trust your government. They're doing what's right for you. What? What? You know, really? I, 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 I couldn't fathom an answer to that. And it was like, the people who think the government's going to bail them out and, and this and that, you know, I, I, these are different ways of thinking from me. <laughs> I'm very, I like to be self-sufficient. I don't believe anybody's coming to bail anybody out. Um, I don't believe God's coming to bail me out. I don't believe that the government's coming to bail me out of anything. This is all me. And I think each one of us is responsible to take control of our lives and take control of our uh, motivations to work towards something better, to be better. And some people choose not to. And they spend many, many years doing selfish things and having selfish motives. And then later, they come crying to other people saying, Oh, poor me. Look at me. I'm all beat up. I went, I've been through so much stuff. I kind of have mixed feelings about that, you know. It's like, if people have been through a bad time in their life and it wasn't their choice, then one can take pity. If one chose to live an abusive, self-destructive lifestyle, knowing better, then I don't feel any pity for them. They've made their decision and they'll probably have to be reborn or, you know, whatever, whatever the, you know, whatever may happen to in the afterlife or if there is one. Uh, you know, I'm sure if that, if there is one, people will have to pay in that way or their lack of understanding. And that's why I choose to meet people who understand. And I choose to see too many ignorant people. It gets really old. And uh, one might say, well, who are you to say they're ignorant? It's obvious. We know what I'm talking about. The people who are truly ignorant to the fact. They think the machine, the system, is all it's about. They think that living in this society is the true... Ah! You know, it's just not that way. I don't see it. And um, a lot of other people don't see it either. So, anyway, meeting people online, it's a lot easier to find the few people, the very few people who understand me, understand my way of thinking. And, uh, and I can understand them a little bit better, too. And uh, through that, we learn from each other. And that's what makes life awesome. Better check the time on this. Yep, it's getting late. I got 30 seconds. So, namaste, everybody. And, uh... Seriously, peace, peace, peace. I hope y'all are doing super well, and um, <laughs> it's great to know all of you.